to multiply how, or paano ako mag-multiply at paano ako mag-divide ng fraction. Um, this is how I multiply and divide fraction kasi para sa akin mas mali dito itong paraan na ito. But I do not um, push it to my students. So, kung ito ay makakatulong, sana. So, do this. Pero kung para sa inyo mas madali yung mag-multiply muna bago mag-lowest term. Ay, depende din sa inyo. So, let's, uh, I will show you first yung basics or yung pattern ng multiplication and division of fraction. So, kapag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, given that A over B is times C over D, uh, wag matakos sa letter, that letter just represent A number. Um, that is multiplying the numerator to numerator. So, A times C is AC and B times D is BD. Okay, so, sa so pag-multiply ng fraction, multiply it from numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Kapag naman ginawa natin, division yan uh, yung mangyayari naman is reciprocal your divisor and change your operation into multiplication so anong kabaligtaran ng C over D so D over C and then let's apply yung ginawa natin dahil multiplication na siya so AD over B C or we could uh, sabi ko cross products kaya lang baka malito kasi kung ano yung nasa taas or nasa baba so just follow na lang na yung ating divisor i-reciprocal natin and then change the operation into uh, multiplication. So, from C to D, naging B to C. And then, our operation become multiplication. And then, in-apply din kung paano to. So, multiplying the uh, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, let me give you an example and show you how I multiply and divide fraction. So, first, given is 3 fifth times 2 thirds. So, yung iba siguro, pag nag-multiply ng fraction, you directly multiply. And then, so, after you multiply that, let's say 6 over 15. And then, after you multiply, that's the only time that you will lowest term. So, ako hindi po ako nag-multiply agad. And then, sa huli, nag-lowest term. Ang ginagawa ko is the cancellation method. So, kung magaling naman kayo maghanap ng GCF, okay lang din naman yun. Nag-multiply muna kayo bago mag-lowest term by finding the GCF. Pero kasi ako, even though I'm a teacher, I, or a math teacher, hindi ako ganun kasi pag mag-divide ng number. So, what I always do is, um, pinagsasama ko muna, or pinagkatabi ko muna yung numerator, sa numerator, and then as well as yung nasa denominator, pinagsasama ko din. And then, tinitingnan ko, ang gagawin ko dyan, ipaprime factors ko. Eh, dahil naka-prime factors naman na, so I don't need to write it into prime factors. So, ang gagawin ko ay magka-cancellation method ako. Yung common factors sa taas at sa baba, ipacancel ko. Siyempre, ang cancellation is by pairing. So, kung isa, kung isa lang yung common way, isa lang yung tatanggalin. Okay, so, just isang 3 dito, kaya magtatanggal ako ng isang 3 lang sa baba. Okay. And then, yung remaining factors, i-multiply ko na yun. Siyempre, again, when multiplying a uh, fraction to another fraction, you will multiply the numerator to numerator lang. At dahil 2 lang naman yung natira, so 2 na lang yung sa numerator and then denominator is 5. Okay. So, let me continue this. So, another is, uh, but this time, this is a mixed fraction. Sorry, medyo mababa yung sulat ko. This is a whole number. So, hindi natin pwedeng basta i-multiply yan. So, if this is the case, you need to change this into improper by multiplying the denominator to the whole number and then the answer will be added to the numerator. So, let's try. And then, yung denominator natin, yun pa din. Okay. So, 8 times 3 is 24 plus 7 is 31. Okay. And then, and then, um, let's write this times 3 over 7. And then, yun na. Tsaka natin i-apply yung multiplication of fraction. So, i-prime factors natin. Just to make sure kung... Ito lang sa baba. Sorry. Just to make sure kung meron pa silang common factor. So, 31 is already a prime. So, 31 times 3. Yung 8 could be factored as 2 times 2 times 2 prime factors. Plus, uh, times 7. So, as you can see, ay, wala naman silang common factor. Sorry. Common factor. Kaya, we could now directly multiply. So, 31 times 3 is... Uh, 93 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 is 56. And on that time, divide na lang natin. So, I think, isa lang naman ang kasha. So, that will be the whole number over 56. So, subtract na lang natin. So, 37. Okay. So, yan yung magiging final answer. So, bakit ako nag-prime factors is para lang ma-sure ko kung may mag-lowest term or may makakancel na common factor. So, yun yung reason ko kung bakit ako nag-prime factors para mas ma-sure ko kung lowest term na ba. Minsan kasi, ang nangyayari ay akala ng student or someone who are finding for the answer is na lowest term yung answer but eh, hindi pa pala. So, para sa akin, the easiest way is prime factors, the numerator and denominator, cancel kung meron, pero kung wala. So, 
at least you are sure na wala common factor. And then that's the time you will be multiplying all the numbers on the numerator and all the numbers on the denominator. Okay, let's have now the division of fraction. So, remember, kapag nakita po kayo ng whole number lang, ang denominator po nun ay 1. Okay? So, bakit po nilalagyan ng 1? Kasi po, mag-reciprocal tayo dito. So, remember, we have 5 over 6. Ita times daw natin sa reciprocal ng ating divisor, which is yung divisor, yung pangalawang given, or yung after ng decimal symbol, or decimal operation. So, 5 over 1, kung na-reciprocal, is 1 fifth. And then, para lang sure na walang, or para sure kung ano yung, kung may makakancel pa or wala na. So, as you can see, may common factor na 5 doon sa taas sa baba. So, I just cancel it. So, dahil wala namang natira, or I mean, wala naman nang ikakancel. So, 1 lang yung natira sa taas. So, which means 1 lang na lang yun. And then, let's multiply 3 times 2. That's 6. So, dito naman pwede naman cancel. I just cleared it here para mas makita nyo yung nangyaring cancellation. So, that is the final answer. So, let me continue on this given. This is 6 and 1 half divided negative 1 fourth. So, as you can see, nagkaroon ng sign na integer. Uh, integer on a fraction. So, let's apply the rule of integers na uh, to unlike sign, the answer is negative. So, but we will still apply the um, division of fraction. So, kailangan tong i-improper by multiplying. So, 2 times 6 and then plus 1. So, 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 2 and then times kasi i-reciprocal natin to so times negative reciprocal lang po hindi sinabing papalitan ng sign so 1 fourth is 4 over 1 so let's have 13 times negative 2 times 2 I just write it into prime factors po para makita yung makakancel para hindi na nga po mag lowest term sa dulo but again if you were good in lowest terming a fraction I don't know if my terms are correct. Pag lowest term ng fraction, kung magaling kayo maghanap ng sisip at mag-divide, go for it. Pinapakita ko lang po is the way I solve yung convenient para sa akin. I'm just sharing it to you. So, prime factors is the easiest way for me. So, 13 prime na yan. So, I just factored the negative 4 as negative 2 times 2. So, cancel natin yung parehong 2. Hindi natin ba na-cancel to? Kasi nakapag-cancel na tayo ng 1 pair of 2. So, let's just multiply yung remaining. So, 13 times negative 2 is negative 26 and then over 1. At 10 over 1, um, improper yon. So, let's write this into improper. So, our final answer will be negative 26. So, that is how I um, multiply and divide fraction. Let me give you another case where in I have a lot of fraction. So, Kapag madami yung fraction, ganun pa rin yung approach. You will be multiplying again the numerators to all the numerators and denominators to all the denominators. And since we have a mixed fraction here, going muna natin improper, by the way, um, parentheses uh, represent um, multiplication operation. So, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1, 11 over 3. Uh, just change it with that. Okay, that represents also multiplication. So, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3, 11 again over 4 times yung 6 over 5 times negative 5 over 1. I just make it 5 over 1 para naman um, hindi nakakadito because we will just be multiplying the numerator to numerators and denominators to denominators. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina sa mga nauna kong example, I did I, I am not multiplying the numerators directly and denominators. Um nag simplify ako before I multiply kasi nga ayoko nang maghanap ng GCF and for me to sure na malawas or na yung final answer ko. So, pagtabihin natin yung mga numbers natin na numerator pero factor natin yung 6 as 3 times 2 kasi pwede pa naman siyang factor so I will just write on that way. And then yung 3 prime na while 4 could be factored as 2 times 2 and then times 5 pwede nyo namang lagyan ng 1. So, pwede pa namang i-separate yung 5, negative 5 as negative 1 times 5. Kasi may nakita kong 5 sa denominator. Para lang hindi kayo malito. So, let's cancel. So, may common na 3, may common na 2, and I'm not cancelling 1 and more. So, may common na 5. So, ito hindi ko na ito pwedeng cancel in kasi may pair na yung kinancel ko. Okay? So, ang pag-cancel ko ay pair lang. So, we will be multiplying 11 
times 11, 11 squared is 121, times negative 1 is negative 121 over 2 times 1 ang natira, over 2. So let's count, um, let's write this into mixed fraction. So negative 60 and 1 half. Okay, so that is the final answer. So, but again, if you're good in multiplying, you can multiply 11 times 11 times 6 times negative 5. This equals over the 3 times 4 times 5 times 1. Tapos saka nyo yung lowest term by finding the GCF. If you're good with that, then go for it. So, again, this is just my way of solving para hindi na ako mag lowest term sa dulo. One more example for division, uh, rather multiplication with a division. So, so the multiplication will be multiplying the numerator to numerator. So, 5 over 9 times 2 over 3. And dahil nga division to, change natin yung operation and then reciprocal natin. 9 over 7. So, yung iba sa inyo, uh, ma uh, madali na lang mag-cancellation. Pero para lang mas detailed. So, 5 times 2. Pagsasamahin ko lang ulit lahat ng numerator. May ipaprime factors ko. So, dahil may 9. So, gagawin kong 3 times 3. And then, may 9 ulit na 3 times 3. And then, yung 3. So, dito na nang galing yung 3. And then, times Seven. So, actually, dito pwede na mag-cancel ng 9. Um, pinakita ko lang dito. Okay? Para mas detailed siya. So, kakancel ko yung isang 3 kasi common nila yun. And meron pang common ulit ng 3. So, may natirang isa. Hindi natin ito pwede i-cancel kasi wala siyang compare na kinancel sa taas. And then, that's the time uh, we will be multiplying. Ano yung natira sa taas? Doon mo lang din i-multiply. Sana sa taas. So, 5 times 2 is 10. Over 3 times 7 is 21. Mga banuman ko. Okay. So, that's already in this form. Hindi na tayo mag- hahanap pa ng GCF. But, um, yun nga, paulit-ulit ako, sorry. Kapag, you are good naman in finding the GCF, sorry, um, then go, multiplying 5 times 2 times 9, this is 90, and then 9 times 3 times 7 is 189, so yun, tsaka nyo yung lowest term, okay lang yun. So, this is just in the way I'm solving the multiplication and division. So, that's really my last example. Oh, 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 oh,